A 1% reduction in the crude protein of dairy rations could potentially reduce nitrogen excretions by 1% and also result in a 5% reduction in greenhouse gas and ammonia emissions. From April 1st to the 15th of September 2020, the maximum permissible level of crude protein in concentrate feeds to complement grazing livestock at grass and derogation farms is 16%. From 2021, this will be reduced by one percentage point to 15%. So why are farmers asked to take on this measure? This measure was introduced to reduce the levels of excess protein in animal diets. Firstly, the level of crude protein in grazed grass is typically well over 20% during the summer grazing period. Secondly, grazed grass makes up 75 to 90% of the daily dry matter intake of grazing animals at this time of year. And finally, we know that the animals with the highest overall dietary true protein requirements are both young growing animals and lactating dairy cows. Young stock need 13 to 15% protein in their diets, lactating cows approximately 15 to 17%. Considering all of the above, it is easy to understand that a lack of protein in the diets of grazing animals over the summer months is not a problem. In fact, the opposite is often likely the case, with dairy farmers frequently reporting high milk urea levels in their bulk milk tests. However, severe weather events may necessitate higher crude protein rations being fed. This is allowable and must be certified by your advisor. Records of concentrates used will be required to be submitted with your annual nitrates records. In summary, grazed grass more than adequately meets animal requirements for crude protein. Excess protein diets are both a risk to water quality and a cost of greenhouse gases, while being an unnecessary cost to you, the farmer.